hi guys welcome to another angular 8 video tutorial for absolute beginner by tech tech in 2019 friend in today's video tutorial we are going to talk about a design pattern named dependency injection that what is a dependency injection and how to use dependency injection inside angular 8 so we will learn about dependency injection and you can also call it, call it a service collection inside angular so without any if and buts let's get into the tutorial so guys we already know that angular is a modular framework and in modular frameworks there is a design pattern called a dependency injection where we use an, a class and we inject that particular class inside another class or in if i talk about in angular terminology we generate a service using angular cli command line and then we inject that service in any of the components so that we can share data from the service to any component without any issue so let's see how can we create a service or dependency injection class and what are the differences between the regular component and the service inside angular so here I'm going to open my Visual Studio code here and I am right now on the terminal uh, which is integrated in the VS code and here we ha I have opened to do task component and as you can see we have two functions here add task and del task. So these is, we will convert these two functions into a modular approach and using a service and then we will add some more features to it so that we can use those features in another component for the time being if i add any feature in this particular component so it is very hard to reuse it in another component so we have to use the modular approach and we convert this into a dependency injection uh, service inside angular so to generate a service we simply need to use ng generate service command and then we type the name of the service so i will call it to do task so it will automatically uh, make it to do task dot uh, service dot ts file so uh, one of our followers asked me why we also use this capitalized letter so this is just a terminology used in classes inside the uh, uh, typescript so that we just follow so as in uh, as you generate this service using to do with the t capital and task t capital it will create a file with the name of to do dash then task in the small all small letters then dot then service then dot uh, dot ts file so it will create like this so if i use it like this to do task then it will simply create a to do task file dot service dot ts so it is all up to you how you name it how you create it but in the class file even where it is declared using the class keyword it will be same like this if you are using it like this so i will press the enter and this will generate a ts file called to do task dot service dot ts file so as you see to do dash task dot service dot ts file and here this file is generated generated so let's see the difference between a component and the services although this service is also a type of component you can call it a component a directive is also a type of component the difference is in the decorator so if you see here we have an injectable decorator which is derived from angular core while in the components we have component directive which is derived from angular core uh, module and we have it have some properties and same goes for the injectable it have some properties as well the default is provider in root so this one is going to be used in the root of this application so that is why if we have a separate module and we have a separate service for that particular module so we can use it a child root uh, providing child or we can where we will talk about sharing the data child and parent components then we will discuss about that so right now just keep in mind in the simple words any class which have a decorator injectable which is derived from the angular core functionality or module is called a service or a dependency injection class so that is simple for this here you can do anything what you can do with a component so what i'm going to do here i will simply copy everything from here and I will simply uh, right now we don't need to put ng on in it so let me cut it from here and put it on the top and then I will cut all this like this and paste it inside our service so I will paste it here and let me take this one above the constructor so what I did I simply moved all the classes 
all the functions which we created at task and del task from the component to the service now this is a separate module to do task dot service and we can inject this service anywhere in the any component and achieve a different result based on that function so here we have a add task and del task so how can we use it inside the component it is very easy simply you need to import this to do task service from dot dot and we need to go one step back because we are in the to do task folder and then to do task service simple is that we have imported so as we know this is a service so to make the service injectable inside our constructor we need to create a constructor and inside our constructor we create a private variable to do and then colon and then name it the to do task service so task service simple is that so we have injected to do task service inside our to do task component you see the names are same this is to do task component and this is to do task service so rest is same we need to create the same two functions and we need to like if on, on in in it i will what i will do here so simply i will create a tasks variable which will be null in the start and then i will simply do this task is equal to this dot to do dot tasks so it will automatically uh, copy from this to do tasks and this is and uh, is not oh sorry is equal to null so now it will fetch all the data from this tasks variable from here from the service we will i will show you how can we fetch it after that we simply need to add those two functions again but this time what i will do i will simply do this dot to do dot add task or then i will pass it the task which we will be getting here so simple is that and we know we have a one line clean code because we are using a modular approach so right now same goes for the del task we will pass a task and then this dot to do dot del task and we will pass it task so you see we now have one line code inside our component all the functionality is done by the service container i mean the service with and we are using this service as a dependency injection inside our component now if i go to my browser and if i add new task from service and if i add it it will work as it was working when we created this tutorial of mini project of to do task so we can add another task add it so add it and done and now if i want to remove this task i will click it and that task is gone so this is our dependency injection design pattern inside angular using service collections so hopefully you will understand in the this service action service i mean collection so in the upcoming video tutorials when we will talk about http module then we will see that is also a dependency injection and we will then fetch restful apis from external urls using this service and http module in the next video tutorial so guys with that i will close my video tutorial here, here and hopefully you have you will like this video tutorial and if you did please don't forget to press the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel tech tech tutorials then do consider and subscribe to it thank you very much take care and goodbye